Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitex. Who's in this side? So in this video, we are going to see the working flow in the companies on Azure Data Factory. So in the last two videos of this video series, we have discussed about the Git repo and how we can set up the Git repo on your Azure Data Factory. So let me quickly go in the Azure Data Factory. And here, remember, we have set up the Git repository in the last video. So that's why we can see the master branch over here. So how we can work in the real time environments. So for that, here we can go in the master branch and we need to create a new branch. Here we need to create the new branch that will be like SSU, the branch name and this branch should be based on the master branch. So once we click on create, it will be going to create a new branch and this branch we can work. So here let me trying to go over here and here let me try to add a wait activity here so we are making some changes in the existing one so we have done this so now we want to publish this and this should be merged with the master branch so this is the actual aim and this is the flow that companies are following so how we can do that here the publish button is disabled so we cannot publish directly here so what we have to do, we have to save this. So it will be going to save in the Git repository as you can see, successfully saved in Git repository. What next you have to do, you can click on this and here you can see the create pull request. So this pull request we need to create and once this pull request will be approved, after that we will be able to see the changes should be merged with the master branch. So let me click on this create pull request so this directly jump to the devops and here let me update whatever we want to update so i'm not going to update anything here if you can go in the downside then here the reviewer so in the reviewer i am going to my name only so here i have added my name so i am the only reviewer of this so here we can also add the work items at the tags so i'm not going to do anything with all these so work items if you are going to have the azure devops then where we can use the adu items as well so we can add that work item here so i am just going to create this so once we click on this create this will be going to create as we can see here so here we can see the reviewer so the required reviewer and the optional reviewer so i am not going to do anything in the real time this reviewer should be there so we have to assign someone to review this and after that will approve so i am not going to do anything on this here in the top side we can see this approve button once we approve this let me click on this approve so this we can see susil singh approved this uh, pr which is the pull request after this the changes should not be merged with the master let me go in the master and quickly show you that so if you can go here in the let me close this and open this invoke team so here we cannot see changes are merged because after approving this pr here we can see the complete so this should be the mark as complete so once we marking this as complete only then these changes should be going to appear on your master branch so this is we can see the merging pr which is in progress and here we can see susil singh completed this pr so once we completed this PR, only then we can see the changes should be merged here. So let me try to refresh this. So we will be going to see changes are there. So here, as we can see, we are under the master branch, but here on the invoke teams pipeline, we have added the weight and this weight is coming from the SSU branch. So that we have seen. So this is the actual flow the companies are following. We have to create a new branch and we'll do work there. And after making the the work we need to save and after that we need to raise the PR and PR will be going to review and updated once PR will be approved then we need to mark that as completed so once we have completed that one only then the changes will be merged into the master branch so this is the workflow that companies are following so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video